starting on a project we have been putting off for a very long time. Dodgy farmhouse wiring. Good afternoon, YouTube folks, people, followers, friends. It's a manky all day. We did a few of them upstairs just so we could get the wires up uh, to get the kids in upstairs so we can get the insulation in. So we're going to pick that up today. Our electrician managed to find a great guy locally that's going to help us. He's happy for us to do the conduit thing and the kind of donkey work and he'll come along and do the connections for us. So this is the really old consumer unit and it's in a very curious place. Now we were always going to move this when we got solar and that also involves taking the wires off. Two electricity lines. I'm going to take them off the side of the house, take them back to the, the pole down there, I suppose, and dig a channel to take them up to the solar array mount up there, and dig another channel to take them into the house. What? It's minging out there. Claire's away on the fire, dossing off work. We were planning in the future to move the consumer unit, move all the wiring, but when our electrician came, we spoke to him, he was like, why not just do it and it will actually save wires so now we can keep most of the wires on this um timber frame side so his suggestion to us was to just get a new consumer unit fit it flush in the studs and we can work away with that well that's what we did we bought a new consumer unit i'm going to fit it i'm not going to connect anything but i do want to run all the wires so as this is in, this is kind of a non-load bearing wall. So I'd like to keep as much as the wiring in the non-load bearing wall, just so I don't have to drill anymore in the rafters. So every cable that has to go to our bedroom, we have smoke uh, cable, which is that weird pink one up there. We have a live uh, wire, which is to go to the sockets. We have, oh no, sorry, L is for the lights, S is for sockets, and R is for a separate feed for the radiators. Uh, the radiators actually are only um, the heated towel rails for the bathrooms. He wanted all of those on a, their own separate line. So I think that's everything. What I'm gonna try and do is light up a laser line up here, just above the, the door lintels for the bathroom and our wardrobe. And I think I'll put all the wires all the way along there, wrapped around here, and bring them down to the consumer unit. So that'll do half the house. That'll do our bedroom, uh, the bathroom, our wardrobe, our ensuite bathroom. And then for all the wiring from the kids upstairs, it's gonna come down through this rafter. And that'll come down through here. So I think we can get half of the house wired without touching the rafters. And then we'll have to think about how we're gonna get this kitchen done. Will we go through the external wall or will we go probably through the rafters up here? That's it, so a bit of time-lapse action. I'm gonna try and set up the laser line and you'll see me do a lot of drilling, which will be fantastic. You'll be so excited, can't wait to see. And I was just looking out the window here in our bedroom, or what will be our bedroom. It is absolutely wild. Our caravan is over in the corner over there. Rob has parked his car in front of the caravan because we're worried that the caravan will get shook up. Well, we're not, we're not sure what would happen, but we don't want to know what might happen to it. We've had lots of water problems, so Rob is busy trying to sort that. Our new tap um, seems to get clogged despite being a really nice tap it gets clogged and then doesn't work and then stops and we thought we had a pump problem but no the pump despite being outside in the freezing cold pretty much unsheltered is uh soldiering on really well so we just have to keep going we're still running off our old pump and um, we still haven't connected up our new water yet we can't connect up our new water until we have dug a big trench across from You'll see there just behind the trees is our pump house with the orange door. That's where our pump is and we need to dig a trench across here and probably all the way down the side of the building to the back 
in order to rig it up to our current water supply, which is the old one. Today, I've decided to do, we can't go outside, yay! I'm in here, this room is full of crap, shower doors, shower panels, bathroom wear, a bath, um, tools, everything. So I've decided to get the insulation into the ceiling, vapor barrier up, so we could potentially, we, Rob has a couple of wires just to run, but they won't interfere with the vapor barrier. So I had to do a big tidy up, get what we can up into the ceiling because we had put all the insulation up, which is there in the bath, but then it all just fell down because it wasn't being held up by anything. So now I've got it up there and it's staying up, just keeps it off the ground, gets it out of the way. So I'm gonna put you on time-lapse while I just very quickly get the rest of this vapor barrier up. I'll also continue to do the vapor barrier in the bedroom part, which is the back of this room by the window. Um, and then that this room really then is ready for plasterboard. He, as I said, he has to run a few electric cables up, but once we have the electric cables run up and in, um, and there's not that much to do really, then we really can just plasterboard the whole lot. So that's the plan. Good morning, folks. It's a miserable day. We're still inside doing small jobs that seem to be taking forever. Yesterday, we went to pick up some solar thermal. When we went to get the thermal, um, just the tubes, really, it's secondhand. There was a fella upgrading his house to PV, so he took the solar thermal. They're like tubes to help heat the water. When we went there, turns out they're along friends of Claire's family. So we stayed for quite a while chatting and catching up. It was a little bit late when we came back and we didn't really do much. Just did a little bit on the wiring. Just show you where I'm at. I have wiring up here and I have it sealed down. This is going to go outside, so I have to make a hole outside for the light on top and an outdoor socket on the bottom. The wire kind of goes along here and it comes down and I have two back plates for two sockets there. We're not doing a lot of sockets in our bedroom. It's intentional to have kind of, how would you say? to have low to no power. We don't want a load of sockets. We don't want to be charging our phones and stuff in here. Not even sure I want Wi-Fi. Anyway, so here I am putting in one more back plate and that'll be it. Three sockets in the bedroom. Maybe a crazy idea, but we'll see. Um, we have some outdoor lights coming up here. We're gonna drop some lights down here for one side of the bedroom, or sorry, one side of the bed. And we're gonna drop some lights here for another side of the bed. I was thinking of putting the socket here, but actually I've changed my mind, I'm gonna pull it. I can always do it later. I'm gonna put a junction box up there just in case we wanna do it later. But I think I'm okay with that. I've kind of agonized over this. This is a part of the build I'm really not enjoying. I put a lot of thought and consideration into how to build a house, put very little into how to wire the house or to do the plumbing, so. I'm having to think things through and make decisions and change plans. It's a mess. Anyway, I am fine. I'm not, there's no chance I can record. We've, you know, we have all the wire up and down. So I'll just give you to Claire and I'll maybe give you an update once I'm finished here. Catch you later. We are redoing something that we I've already done once wrong in our first bathroom and we did it wrong again in our second bathroom. Basically, the pipes that we laid in our bedroom, this is our bedroom here. Um, this one is for the loo, for the ensuite. And basically it was here. I'm not gonna move it now because I actually have it in place, but it was here. So like it would have meant the toilet would have sat way out from the wall. Um, we actually did this in our other loo as well, which I think you'll see in a video coming up, um, or that you'll have seen at this stage. So, we, yeah, we, we, we didn't know where the pipes were going. So, it meant digging out the entire floor 
to move the pipe, that white one is for the sink and I didn't have to touch that. And then out here, uh, this is where it comes out. Um, kind of just hoping that this will be okay. I think it will because it's going to run down the channel then all the way down, meet up with the one that comes out in the spare bedroom, or spare bathroom, sorry, and go all the way down. You can see the sewer pipe at the very end. Hello, Lost. Are you going to help? Hmm, maybe not. Uh, so, this is my job. I just want to get this done um, before the weekend so that we can have it set and right. So, dug it out. Dug it out. And I plan to... I've mixed my cement. It's in the wheelbarrow here. And I'm basically going to just fill it back in um, as best we can in the position I have it now. So that's the plan. So I'm going to just put you over here. All right. So it's done. And we can put a toilet there. And of course, the first bucket I put in, which you may have seen, went straight out the bloody hole and out the door. Out, the, out under the window. Now Rob can keep going with the framing here. You can see he's doing a lot of framing around this wall. <laughs> Not that we're really sentimental about this wall, but it is lovely to just keep a small tiny bit of the exposed wall on the inside. Of course there wasn't any other exposed walls because they were all plastered or wallpapered or whatever. Um, so it's nice just to keep a small little piece and this is obviously the original doorway so it's really lovely to keep that part of the piggery as the piggery means so much to me because I'm the one that digged it out, dug it out, digged it out, dug it out. It's nice to keep it and hopefully we'll be able to just hoover the clay out from the stones and point it and here on this side where there's a piece missing I don't know whether we'll just build that up or what we'll do but the plan is to have a flat layer on the top and a light in the middle. So that will give you light into the bathroom from the ceiling part. And then the back, of course, is the wardrobe. So yeah, it's coming along. It's another little bit done. Rob's making some lovely soup with our neighbours that she gave us. Thank you, Liz. We're going to have that now and back to work, I'm afraid, because it's lunchtime. Talk to you soon. Feels like a kind of not so productive weekend but I just want to show you this was originally where all of our washing drying original fridge went on it is just a big soggy mess we have a very large pond here I'm glad to say we've actually moved on from this this weekend. This washing machine has seen better days. It had got to the stage where a wash was taking about four hours. Partly because the baffles have fallen out of the washing machine. It's not particularly old, but but it just it, it went from problem to problem. This fridge actually is also similar age to cure, it's about 20 years old. So now we're back in barn two. We did a big clear out here yesterday and move the dryer and washing machine in here. And this is actually where they're gonna stay. This is my new washing machine. It's a Samsung Eco Bubble. We had one when we, one when we were in the Middle East and they are just amazing. We sold it before we came back and so I never, I didn't keep it. So it was always in the back of my mind to buy another one. This is our 21 year old dryer, Tristy Bendix. It's now yellow at the front, like it's so old. It hasn't had actually a lot of use, but anyway, and this is uh, Clementine and she's Lost's mum and she's taken up bed on top of the dryer at the moment. She's very happy about that because they were being fed in the other barn near the other fridge, which was an absolute nightmare, wasn't it, Clem? Give us a smile. Hey. Oh dear, she's like a big bear. Needless to say, slightly overweight, but anyway, she came, just came to us as a very scrawny, skinny uh, mom, didn't you? Yes! The kitties are being fed here and the laundry is being done here for the moment. Um, probably a little light bulb up there showing us what we have. 
uh, so it's difficult to see but at the very back here we you can't see anything but we have a lot of stuff stored at the back I expect we will continue to use this barn um, because it is super dry in here but yeah it has a pretty good door on it so we can go in and out without opening the big door just the little door on it dog really wants to get in there but I'm not allowing her in that one because I feel it's a space that the cats need for their own a little bit of demolishing went on actually started to take out the bathroom the downstairs bath little loo that was in our little bathroom that was in the um, parlor this is some of it there's a little bit more to go go out I'll show you what that looks like this all needs to be kind of sorted out but when I get rid of this room so this just this little room here was like a little bathroom and it did us very well at the start loo and shower and sink but now we're gonna rip it out so I've taken out the sink it's taken out the loo taken down some of the panels just gotta uh, take down the rest of the panels there and I can take out the plywood and the shower base the ceiling I like to get the ceiling boards out um, and then the whole lot can be taken out and we have a little bit more space the reason for starting that was because we were looking for a fitting to fit the washing machine to the pipe barn yeah it was like start a job to finish a different job I'll just take you up now and show you because Rob has been doing an awful lot of wiring so we've been running wires from these coils here all the way up along the through the wood all the way through the corridor up to our room and we would do the same um, running down to the kitchen we have taken spurs off where we're going to put sockets or where there's going to be certain electrical items like this wire is for on the other side of this wall where this is the bathroom and this is where the heated tower will be this is where the socket will be for the switch then so then there's a wire coming out um pile of wires coming out up here also rob also has to have an extra wire over the shower for the extractor fan and um, this is the uh electric towel rail on the inside of the bathroom he's run them all the way through here through the top and then this is our wardrobe and they're coming down the other side of the wardrobe. Hello, Rob. Hello, Claire. Um, and he's got a lot of sockets here, or switches here. Lights for hall, wardrobe, bedroom. External lights, internal bedroom lights, three internal bathroom lights, internal heated towel rail, sockets for the bedroom, external sockets and now we have to do the plumbing for the bathroom that's why you gotta move the trestle what we thought was going to be just a case of getting plaster up like rob said suddenly end up being a whole lot of other jobs to happen before that so what i'm going to do now i'm going to shed some light on this room but what we're going to do now i'll just show you actually it's also run um the cabling is pretty much done in here it runs this way this will be where we have a bed and then it also runs this way because we have an extra oh, we have a external lights outside of here and there but this room is just full of all our tools and so my job now this afternoon is to clear out all these tools and get them back down into the barn and then it'll be amazing to be able to see the space and actually be able to set up what we have here which will be a shower a bath a sink there's a towel rail going to be fitted in here somewhere and then the toilet my floor is now set here where we moved where i dug up the and hole a bed so we can give up building and sleep for about six freaking months <laughs> yeah dad's in or bro, rob's in a really good Dad. mood <laughs> anyway so rob's i'm gonna such, put you rob's in such a great mood he hasn't done youtube for about three weeks because <gasps> i don't know what that the says a lot that says an awful lot Rob really enjoys it. 
But when he's got so much to think about with wires, it's really difficult. So I'm going to put you on time lapse and we'll clear all this out. And hopefully I'll be able to show you at the end of this where the bath goes, where the shower goes. And we'll actually have to be, we'll be able to put them in situ because we won't have anything else in here. That's the plan. That's my big job. Speak to you in a minute. All right, we're gonna pause it there for the night. Um, it doesn't look like a lot was done. I had to connect some valves on both sides. I'm gonna turn these off tomorrow and connect the water and just see if there's any leaks on these. If there's not tomorrow night, I'll connect up the shower and the bath there. Um, took ages looking for the components, took ages looking for the corners at the very end. I lost, or I couldn't find the um, pipe cutter, so I spent a ridiculous amount of time looking for that. Ended up using my circular saw. It's just one of those evenings where I spent like two and a half hours working, but I only think I did maybe 30 minutes work. The other two hours were just looking for crap. So, very disappointing evening, but... Finally, I very quickly put on the speed fit um, connections. So that's very nice coming across here. And this is my cold. This is my hot. I must go from a 22 to a 15 mil here at the sink point and connect these up tomorrow night. I'm gonna leave it there. And um, first Easter egg of the season. girl you found it hello people oh, man that's a great start it's Saturday morning the last week or so have been fairly busy so I've not been in the house working a lot really um, for about a week I'd say I'm not sure where I left you off and I think all the electric should finally be done in this place the other thing I want to do is continue with this. I have done the plumbing. Um, I did the cold anyway. And I started to work on the sink here. You can see all the fittings. And we had this tested for a week and we're not getting any leaks. So I'm happy enough with what I've done. We forgot also that we needed a cold water pipe outlet for the toilet so I had to do that they're both done now so moving back I can see I have no leaks oh that's quite a large mm, dead looking spider but anyway I can see that I have no leaks here on either side which is brilliant so now I'm gonna plumb the other two sides one of them I think I think this one the top one is going to go straight up and across here and come down over the bat. Got to fit that. The other one, I must put it straight up and across and it's going to come down here for the shower. So, yeah, this, this has really been dragging for quite a while. Kind of, I wouldn't say we lost motivation on it, but it just seems like the never ending story. We also, at the last minute, realized we wanted to put the ventilation in. Again, I'm not sure if I recorded this, but you know, it's just, this is a room that just kept giving. There was no end to it. Um, but it's Saturday morning, brunch, lunch-ish, and I'm gonna try and make an effort to finish as much as I can, get the shower, bath, sink, 
and toilet plumbed go with the final switches in and hopefully we could at least symbolically throw up one piece of plaster in here as i said before this was meant to be the room that we did last because we don't need it and ironically this is the one we're ending up doing first but like we're not we're not <laughs> i think you know that by now we're not professionals at this by a long shot this is our first big this is our first actual renovation be it big or small and we are learning as we go and yeah we learned a lot this last few weeks so i'm going to leave it there and i'm going to give you a little bit of time lapse you can see how i get on I'm trying to sort this thing out and i'll catch you later Ta -ra. just got emergency sos from claire she needs me i gotta pause this hello folks this is going to be a very short update it is thursday evening this light is fairly bright it's thursday evening i left you probably Saturday I think I went out to help clear the polytunnel and it's Thursday evening I'm coming back so there was a lot of work needed you'll have seen that it was good fun it was very hard work it's been a while since I did hard work so it was kind of nice to get back to it a little bit but not too much and then there was a lot of editing during the week anyway that's a roundabout way to say it's a week later we ain't done much it's quite late like half six on a Thursday evening I am going to get stuck back into this Right where I am is, I am fitting a mixer tap here that's going to come out of the wall and we're going to control the water here. We're going to send the water to another pipe and it's going to come out the tap here into our bowl. So we don't really have much, it's a bit unusual the way we're doing the fittings in here. It's like we have all these mixers that are going behind the wall so you won't really see a lot of pipe work. It's the same with the shower. I don't think I've explained. Um, why not give you a look, huh? So what we have here is, this is a typical thermostatic shower that you turn it hot or cold on the bottom, but on the top, you switch between a rain water head that comes straight down the top or a shower head that comes adjacent to the top. Now what I'm doing is I'm not connecting the shower head and I'm gonna connect that to the bath. So, fingers crossed, this one control will work our mixer for the shower and our mixer for the bath at the same time. So it's gonna be nice and neat. So I'm doing something similar here, and I guess I might just leave you guys on time-lapse. It's pretty boring, to be honest. I probably wouldn't watch, but up to yourselves. Um, hot goes in here, cold goes in there, feed comes out here, so I'm just gonna connect it like this. But of course my hot and my cold are the wrong way around so I have to switch them over. And my cold is actually connected to the house. I have to cut it here so once I have everything done, I might leave that to last. I don't think there's gonna be much talking. This is gonna be a very quick time lapse and I should probably get this done tonight. Did a little bit of wiring. Don't know if I've shown you this even but I have a little fan here and I, did, I was waiting on this cable. This is a twin brown on earth cable for light switches. And I just have that going over the beam and coming out here, we're gonna have a pull cord for the fan. That's the only other thing. Whoa. You see this? I think you've seen me do this for the shower head that's gonna come out here on this side. And then on this side we have the just gonna be a simple that's it I, I might cover the treads i'm not sure but that's it water just comes straight down into the bath pretty simple so let's get away with this and i'm not really feeling it i've wasted a lot of time looking for stuff and that puts me in a bad mood so i'll try and do this and perhaps i'll cut off the cold water and connect it up and check for leaks Thanks for watching guys, and a major thank you to all the new subscribers we got the last week. Delighted to see you all here. If you want to support the channel, if you like what you see, by all means, just give us a like, comment, share. It would be wonderful, it means a lot to us. If you want some behind the scenes on what we're doing, uh, why not check out our Patreon, where we're hosting some interesting kind of clips and videos and just 
generally things that doesn't normally make it into these longer formats. As well as a monthly members Q&A for any questions or thoughts you want to dive in a little bit deeper behind the videos. And a huge thank you to all the super thanks and people who bought us a coffee on Ko-fi. Really, really means a lot. Thanks, and I'll see you all next time. Why don't you click one of these videos here? Catch up on what we've been up to. Talk to you soon.